So good morning guys, uh, welcome to this webinar on uh, heat and mass transfer. So today we will be discussing some problems in the unit 3. So it chiefly deals, primarily deals with uh, boiling and condensation. So we have a, an important problem right here, which is an aluminium pan of 15 centimeter diameter, uh, which is used to boil water, uh, and the water is at the depth of uh, 2.5 centimeters at the time of boiling. The pan is placed on an electric stove and the heating element raises the temperature of the pan to 110 degrees Celsius. So you are asked to calculate the power input for boiling and the rate at which the water evaporates. So guys, um, you have to be very clear that uh, since the temperature of the pan, which is the base temperature, is close to 110 degrees Celsius, it means that it's more than the boiling point of water, which directly implies that the water, any water contacting this surface it's going to get vaporized easily so but uh, you know uh, it's not a single droplet of water it's a pool of water which is in contact with the surface so it gradually vaporizes and uh, um, you have to understand the uh, basics that not all vapor, all water becomes a vapor at 100 degrees Celsius so now um, let's start solving this problem is 110 degree Celsius so you have been asked to calculate the power input or the Q the amount of heat transferred while boiling and also the rate of evaporation which is denoted by M dot in other words it is also known as the mass flow rate so these two parameters you have to find out so now uh, let me draw the pan here so this is the pan this is the handle you have water up to this level of 2.5 centimeters so the base is going to be uh, 15 centimeters so the temperature of this base is 110 degrees Celsius so this water is becoming a vapor and it is at the base is at 110 degrees Celsius so now to proceed further we need to find the properties of water first at a certain temperature we know that the saturation temperature of water is 100 degrees Celsius which in other words the boiling point of water so the properties of water at this temperature can be gotten from the HMT data book per kg per meter cube and then the kinematic viscosity which is uh, 0 0.293 into 10 power minus 6 meter square per second and you have Prandtl number 1.740 and the specific heat capacity at constant pressure CPL for this liquid water is 4216 joules per kg Kelvin so now we have these values right here from the data book so you need another data which is the dynamic viscosity of the liquid which can be gotten by multiplying this density with this kinematic viscosity which is going to be 961 into 0 0.293 into 10 power minus 6 this works out to 2.81 into 10 power minus 4 newton second per meter square so now this is what we have got from the data book for water now this water has just become start started to vaporize so we need to find out the properties of vapor at 100 degrees Celsius for this you need the steam table and you should go to page number 4 so please check with the page numbers uh, but this 256.9 kilojoules per kg so please convert this 2256.9 into 10 power 3 joules per 
kg. So don't make the mistake of substituting in kilojoules. The problem will go wrong. And now we need the value of specific volume which is 1.673 at 100 degrees Celsius for this vapor. So which is again and then now we have to get the density of this vapor which is the inverse of the specific volume 1 by 673 will be 0 0.597 kg per meter cube so this is the properties of vapor obtained from the steam table page number 4 so these are all the data we need to proceed with the problem and now we have to find the excess temperature delta T which is the difference between the wall temperature and the saturation temperature which is going to be like 110 minus 100 which is 10 degrees Celsius You have to consider this as nucleate pool boiling conditions. So if delta T is greater than 50, you should consider this as a film boiling condition. So this differentiation is very important. So you need to find delta T in all boiling problems and check whether it, if it is less than 50. So now in this particular case this is less than 50 and uh, we are going to have nuclear pool boiling, pool boiling conditions. So for this condition you should go to page number 142 in your HMD data book. So you will see there Q by A which is uh, heat flux or the power input or heat flux. So this equation will be available right there at page number 142. So it will be like mu L into HFG into G rho L minus rho V density of liquid minus density of vapor divided by sigma surface tension whole power 0.5 multiply only for pool boiling conditions when the temperature is less than 50 degrees celsius please remember there is another equation for uh, uh, film boiling condition in a different page so please mind this so now uh, we have uh, almost all the vol uh, all the values uh, here this is the dynamic viscosity of the liquid the hfg value we have g is the gravity density of the liquid density of vapor sigma sigma is nothing but the surface tension uh, this is available from your uh, page number 144 the same hmt data book so you will find that sigma is 0 0.0588 Newton per meter at 100 degrees Celsius. So this value is from 144, page number 144. And now and uh, here you will see that there is another term which is CSF. This value is for uh, the material of the aluminium, material of the pan which is aluminium. Now uh, we have to look into page number 143. of the HMD data book for the CSF value so it it is estimated to be 0 0.0132 for aluminium water interaction for water aluminium interaction 2256.9 into 10 power 3 into 9.81 961 minus 0 0.597 divided by 0 0.0588 whole power 0 0.5 multiplied by CPL which is uh, 
4216 joules into delta T is 10 divided by CSF is going to be 0 0.0132 into HFG 2256.9 into 10 power 3 and then uh, Tantal number is going to be 1.740 whole power 1 and this will be raised to the power 3 so this is the equation we have now so please uh, keep it in mind that uh, this equation has to be solved this problem has to be solved with utmost care using your calculator so I recommend that you solve this first this term first in the calculator have this value separately solve this separately and have a value and then finally you can multiply all these values to get 1.43 into 10 power 5 watt per meter square so this is the heat flux this is the heat flux it's going to be 1.43 into 10 power 5 multiplied by area so the pan area, this is nothing but the surface area of the pan which is a circle, its diameter is given pi by 4 into d which is uh, 0 0.15, 15 centimeters, I hope you remember that. So this value you have to substitute here 1.43 into 10 power 5 into pi by 4 into 0 0.15 whole square, this works out to 2527 watts. So this is the power input given or the heat input given to boil this water and now we have to find the uh, mass flow rate which is the rate of evaporation uh, which I'm going to solve now so the rate of evaporation m dot so this is given as Q is, is equal to M dot into HFG. This relation you have to remember. So Q is 2527 which we just arrived at and 225 6.9 into 10 power 3. So M dot is going to be 1.11 into 10 power minus 3 kg per second. So this is the rate of evaporation. So this is the end of it.